Hi, we're MSDT 15267, a multidisciplinary senior design team in the Kate Gleason College of Engineering. We've been assigned the job of creating and developing a biaxial tensile tester. We are working with biomedical engineering professors, Dr. Michael Richards and Dr. Vinay Abiyankard to build a device that can test the mechanical properties of human tissue mimicking materials. The key goals of this project are to create a functioning prototype of a biaxial tensile tester. It should be able to hold a variety of materials without tearing the sample, move in both axes simultaneously, and successfully provide the user with the requested mechanical property information. Our clients are interested in using this device for research and educational purposes. They provided us with a non-functioning structure and requested a functioning, cost-effective, and machined prototype by the end of this semester. Our proposed solution was to use the foundation provided to us and build upon it to create our new device. One of the major components of our device is a water bath to maintain physiological conditions of the tissues samples during testing. To that end, we created a bath out of high strength acrylic material and secured and sealed it together using a fast set acrylic cement. Another aspect of our device that the clients asked us to develop and prototype was a fully machined aluminum body structure. With the expertise of our mechanical engineers, we were able to develop a design using Creo Parametric and utilize RIT specialists to machine the part from aluminum 6061. We were able to integrate the water bath and aluminum body structure by using partially threaded rods and lock nuts to facilitate filling and draining the bath after testing. To maintain physiological temperature, we acquired and integrated a sous vide machine, which has internal mechanisms to maintain a specified temperature set point and apply circulation to the solution. The final primary directives for our project was to make an easy to operate user interface using MATLAB where the operator can input the desired distance they want to pull their samples and the interface will output the force being applied in real time. In order to accomplish this, our team created a custom MATLAB program that can communicate to our devices Arduino board. The Arduino board then communicates to our motors that moves the arms a specific distance. We can then retrieve the force data from the encoders that is sent back to our user. Our team expects to have a fully functioning and machine device for our clients by the end of the semester. The biggest challenge with this project was our team's gap in knowledge on the subjects of electrical engineering and software coding. We are a team of four biomedical engineers, two mechanical engineers, and one industrial engineer. Our device relies heavily on being able to have our user interface communicate with the device's Arduino board and back again after free running the intended experiments. Our team had to learn the communication language between MATLAB and Arduino. We also had to expand our learning of electrical subsystems to get the device powered on. We would like to thank our clients, Dr. Richards and Dr. Abiyankar and our MSD guide, Dr. Steele, for all their help this semester.